particulates like dust, and you, you measure that by collecting the dust or dirt on a filter. It's it's basically the same thing as when you change your furnace filter and it's got all that goop and stuff on it um, every year. That's dust and particulate. And the bigger stuff sticks to the filter and the really small stuff might, might go through. Our filters are really good at catching even very small size particles. So we put them on a machine and they collect uh, particulate whatever's in the air for 24 hours. Um, they pull air through this filter and all the stuff that uh, is in the air gets trapped on the filter. The staff go out every week or so and put filters on and take the ones that have been used up and have collected a sample. They take them off and then they take them back to the lab where they are weighed. And you compare the initial weight with the final weight. That gives you an amount of particulate that's been collected onto the filter. And in the end, that gives you a a, a mass concentration, which is, is it winds up micrograms per cubic meter is how we, we talk about that. Um, the standard is 35 micrograms per cubic meter, and so we're hoping to have less than that. Everything else we monitor for is a, is a gaseous, and it's monitored in the gas phase, and so those instruments are able to uh, um, measure that in real time and tell us exactly what's out there. Uh, we have these continuous methods, and they will provide near real-time data. The public can see what's going on in the last half an hour or hour or something. So the, the data all gets fed to a central network from all the instruments across the across the state and the network and that data is then used to update our web page every hour those numbers are used to feed our web page and our mobile app and to make the public aware of what's going on so they can make choices right then monitoring is the beginning and the end of everything that we do